We were considered essential, um, but we were extremely limited by what we could do. Everything had to be virtual tours. We couldn't really talk about doing business. They didn't want us to do that. The state was very much like, hush, hush, stop. Um, but you need to keep producing money for the state. Right. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of our taxes actually come from a transfer tax. So okay. they're like, we still need the money. So like, do it, but just don't talk about it. Right. Um, and then obviously, like everywhere else, listings just plummeted after that um, for the first few months. So Okay, because you guys, you guys made a way. Yeah, we did. 100%. Right. We support each other. We're a team at the other day. So like, we, we, were, we, we just came together. Um, this stuff played stupid games on Zoom. Would play on like Call of Duty together. Get on like FaceTime every morning. Just be like, hey, checking in. How's life? You good? I'm good. Everybody good? Okay, cool. Have a good day. Pretty. I mean, it, it, those were those were difficult times. They were to try to keep and and to be able to go to start right at that time mm -hmm. with two and now to be at twenty five three years later. That's amazing growth. It is. It is a lot of growth. Uh, a lot of challenges. Um, it's been fun. It's been exciting. When you think you're prepared for what's going to happen, something new happens that you're like, oh, I got to figure out this and fix this. But it's been an adventure and a journey, and I wouldn't trade it, and I wouldn't trade it for the people around me. I absolutely love the people I work with. I do, and cheesy, consider them like family. Um, whether, you know, I've been sick, they brought me food. I bought them food. I've helped watch their kids, and, and you know, we go to parties together. We have fun together. I've seen them break down. I've seen them have the high of the highs, the low of the lows. So we really have a good mentality. And we hold on to that or vibe, if you want to say. We hold on to that so tightly. Like, we don't let anybody break that. So. Yeah, and I think that's, and that's, I mean, that's life, right? Yeah. I mean, you're, you know, everyone thinks, like, what's the, um, they, they see the, they see the results. And they're yeah. awesome. I mean, you're, I mean, you're successful. It just, you know, your personality, it just comes easy for you, right? You've always been successful, you know, uh, but they don't see uh, sometimes the, the behind the scenes. Correct. What, what was, uh, what was a time when, you know, again, either personal or business, if you mm -hmm. choose to share where, um, where maybe things were, so you weren't su the success that you are now. Yeah. Where, where, where maybe you might've either been on the brink of quitting or, mm -hmm. or, or had a breakdown in some, like you said, the highs of the highs, the lows of the lows. Mm -hmm. What, what could you share of a time and, and, and when it was a low or a low and what you did to actually overcome it? Um, that's a good question. You know, I, I, I could give a specific event, but I think what may be better, um, especially for context is that those lows and lows, you know, some people say, you know, I had this one moment, right? Lowest in my life and it was rock bottom and I went up from there. Fantastic, right? I also believe that for most people in their life, it's going to do this. You got to go up and then you hit back down, right? And it's a continuing journey of getting at those lows and pushing through. Like there's been times where I've had to, you know, ask my parents to spot me some money because I was in between closings and didn't have the funds um, to growing the business itself and, you know, doing this for five years, I have not touched a penny out of that business, right? And, and just having to continually push yourself day in and day out, but also understanding that while I may push myself to do stuff that's uncomfortable, like I'm not big on cold car, don't like it. It makes me feel weird. Um, sometimes I've had to push myself, but also recognizing that if I do this for the next two days, that means that the other day I have to take off for myself because my mind's not going to be in a good place. I'm not going to get work done. I'm going to aid real estate at the end of the day and trying to get people want to serve people so it's really understanding that balance of figuring out the problem figuring out what you can do to fix that problem or resolve it or get support for it and then understanding how all that affects you personally um because like with me with adhd i can be all over the place and i can go 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 but again i had to be respectful of my own energy my own mentality because while i am go 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 that eventually does give there's rain. Side effect. Yeah, there's, there's a side a, effect. There's a repercussion. Yeah. Depending on how it, it does, because every action has an opposite equal reaction, and it's the same way. So you got to find that balance. Um, and I think a lot of entrepreneurs think they see all the good stuff. Like we post about all the positive stuff we do, but there's again all that stuff in the background that happens too. Like I'm having to deal with stuff right now with the FISBO we with one of my clients, and I'm just like, what? The heck? what? Just causes stress for no reason. That's a negative, but you know, I'm not posting about that today. But understand that that's why I am all about you have those highs and lows, and it's about riding that wave and it's trying to find out how to have that good balance on it. So when you do hit the low, 
you're good, but you hit that knock in the head like a bull. Like, yeah, like a bull. Boy, I, I love that. Blown. Yeah, I did what my summer come with. I was going to do that. Die. Yeah, I gotta lie. It's just, yeah, definitely get oh, I do. Though. Every single time. Yeah, yeah, I get hit, but it's like, it's a fun time. <laughs> so what? So then what made you decide you wanted to get into um, business coaching? I mean, I know that, mm-hmm. you know, being an entrepreneur, growing the team, you're coaching anyway, you're changing lives and, and all that good stuff. But mm-hmm. what made you want to? start coaching outside of your organization to small businesses all over the country i enjoy giving back a lot um almost to a fault um it, it's been ingrained in, in me since i was a kid my parents have always done about that uh through the youth programs that i did as a kid as well like 4-h and boy scouts um youth and government ymca stuff it, i've always enjoyed that part of life because i know it's not all about me at the end of the day so if i can make your life better and happier I know I'm going to be happy too at the end of the day because I get to see that through you. But I can say there is a pivotal moment and it happened probably about a year ago, year and a half ago. Um, I'd been in public safety for about a decade as well. A firefighter, yeah, EMT, so police yeah, officer. Serving the community. Serving the community. But being a decade in, while I enjoy going on calls, right? I enjoy the adrenaline pump and stuff still. I, I will not deny that. I sat back because of the opportunity to teach a small course and I loved that. I loved being able to educate, especially some of these newer uh, people within uh, public safety, you know, things I know. I can give you some of my expertise. Hey, nobody taught me this, so I'm going to teach you this. And in this situation, you have ABC options, and this will help you be so much easier. Because I know being a rookie, uh, you know, being like, oh my gosh, what do I need to do? You get tunnel vision, you get stressed. And if I had some of that support, I would have done better. I'd have felt better. And so if I can do that now because I have this knowledge, I love just being able to pour that into people. So instead of public safety, obviously, this is business coaching. It's the same way. While I have had really good support around me, there are things I have learned, you know, along my journey. The hard way. The hard way sometimes, right? And I can take that knowledge, and if you're my client, I can give that to you. And even if it's only, you know, 20 clients that I'm helping, that's fine. There's 20 lives I'm in. Yeah, I'm making their life better and happier and stronger. So for me, that just, to me, that allows me to make the impact that I want to make in my community, both locally and nationally. Yeah, and you're, and you're, and the, and you're, it's not just the 20 people that you're helping. Yeah, yeah. It's the, each of those 20 people mm-hmm. are potentially affecting hundreds of lives. I mean, it's their families, mm-hmm. it's their staff, it's their client, mm-hmm. it's their staff's families. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's a it, huge it's ripple a, effect. Right. Yeah, you, you threw a bunch of boulders in there, but those boulders had other, rocks and waves and everything that gets even bigger so yeah i love that that makes them that makes a lot of sense yeah all right cool so so what do you what do you like to do uh i mean you know you're busy i was yeah i know if you're like me with the adhd <laughs> you you like to do lots of different things yes so you're a musician i are you musician. still are you still playing are you performing like what is it i like? don't perform anymore i haven't done that in a while i miss it i want to again um so i play guitar bass piano harmonica uh, I can play sax, though I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, cajon, which is fun. Um, and I'm trying to sing again. Uh, but no, I don't perform. I play guitar still quite a bit, and I'm buy- trying to buy a piano. I'd love to buy a used one because they're cheaper. Uh, the new ones are like five or ten grand. But I want to start playing piano even more because for me, playing music is very relaxing. Um, and it's something for me. I will not deny it while I enjoy performing and having everybody you know, have a good time. When I play music, it is 100 percent selfish this is about me in the moment with the music just feeling it and vibing with it um so for me especially on a work day there, there's times like in, in the middle of the day i'll grab the guitar just start playing around or I, I will get on a keyboard and start playing a little bit just to whatever you have instruments at the office so not at the office i work partly from home so i have them at, at my house and so sometimes i will throw them in the car but i do want to put a piano in the office it's just trying to find the right place and also be like yo I can't probably put a piano. I need to get a keyboard. I'm like, I want a nice keyboard. That's 2,500 bucks. Right. I want to take care of that next month. Right. That keeps going the next month. And I'm like, I'll take care of it again at some point. Uh, but stuff like that. Uh, we play video games sometimes in the office too, uh, which is fun. Like Call of Duty, just dumb stuff like that. But besides music, I'm in the gym a lot. Um, every single night. I love lifting weight. It's a way for me to be competitive with myself. And I'm looking to get back into competitive swimming. Uh, okay. Because it's something I can train with myself instead of like needing 10, 12, 15 yeah. people. But I can push myself to get where I want to. And it's also kind of kicks into that competitive edge, similar to real estate a little bit. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, look, I want this. I'm going to beat everybody else. This is the time I need. And if I get to the meet, I'm going to make that happen. 
That's all I'm in. I'm just zoning in this for the next, you know, few minutes. Nothing else. This. Right. So you were you were a swimmer in high school. Did you swim in college too? I did not. Um, I swam in high school, and then I did U.S. Masters swimming for a little bit. Okay. And then you know the chaoticness of life. Life. Yeah. Uh, like ah, oh, that had to go. That had to go. And so I. But you're a firefighter. So yeah, firefighter. Yeah. You know, ten little things. Ten to stay. You know. Yeah. Things come up. Things come up. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Called that all was right. Yeah. Hey guys, where you at? Yeah. Okay. I guess.